What's going on, Boo? Today we're checking out Placeholder Bay, which is a new app that I built for generating AI content within your Webflow project. So here we've got it right here. I'm just going to go ahead and install the app. And you can only install this on one site at a time. So that's something you should know because I have to be able to control credits on sites that it's on. Okay, so I'm just going to select the Placeholder Bay testing website and I'll authorize the app. Now, let's say we were creating a blog about skateboarding. So I'm just going to go ahead and create one template called authors. And this looks good. It's just going to use all the default fields here in Webflow. A reminder, this is called authors. And then we'll also create a collection called blog posts. And it looks like we already have this. We'll call it blog posts skate. Um, actually, let's call it skate posts or just posts. I think that's better. It's important because the collection name is passed to the AI. So it will generate If it knows it's a post, it's going to make it kind of like blog posts. Anyways, I wanted to add a blog post field because I also want to add a reference field and we'll just tag our authors here and we'll call this author and save that field and we'll create the collection. All right, now let's go ahead and launch this app. So placeholder bay, we're going to launch it and it's going to load. And you see, I've got a hundred credits here. My Patreon subscribers get a hundred credits when they start. Everyone else gets 10. So signing up in Patreon gets you a lot of benefits. It also gets you benefits in asset bay for easily tagging your images with alt text using AI. Now I'm going to go ahead and select the authors collection and I think I want this to be some let's do something like film I guess or let's do moody and this is skateboarding is my industry and I want to make five of these authors so we can see we have the fields down here and it's going to auto populate those as well now let's create the five items it takes about 30 seconds usually for a request okay now that's done so I'm going to head over here to the authors collection and let's do a refresh here real quick. And we've got Grind King Steve, Ryder Skatemore, Mike Rupture Peterson, Tyler Flynn. And so let's go ahead and check out Tyler Flynn. We've got a name. We've got a slug skateboarding legend. Good job, Tyler Flynn. And here's a moody picture that was generated by AI. It's a bit dark, it looks like, but, you know, that's going to be okay. Now let's go ahead and generate our blog post. So I'm going to collect the blog post collection. And we still want it to be about skateboarding, but let's do a fisheye style for this one. And we'll do five items again. All right, so that has successfully created five items. So I realized I created posts and accidentally added these two blog posts. But let's go ahead and look and see what we got anyways. So I should have done this collection, but I did this one. So here's Skateboard Jesse, and it's the top five skateboarding tricks for beginners. So we've got some really nice contextual blog posts here with a, um, a call out. It's got some unordered lists. It got bold text. It's got a link here. So lots of different stuff to make sure that when you're styling your rich text, you have everything you need to make it look good. Meta description. Here is one of those fisheye pictures. We got the big image and the thumbnail. This one has a uh, multi-image field. So we're getting four fisheye images here, which is cool. Video link, link, just showing you kind of everything that you get for each different field here. And here's an associative fighter. This is a um, multi-reference field. Now let's generate a couple more. We'll go over here to posts. And this time, let's say that our industry is something like fashion and I want to do a fashion photography theme and we'll go ahead and create these items now. All right, that's done. We got five more items. So I'm going to head into the posts collection here. We'll refresh this 10 tips for sustainable fashion. I could have probably put a put, um, skater fashion here, but we've got some nice photos being generated. Um, really good styling, I think. So top 10 sustainable fashion brands, ethereal silk capsule collection. So just giving you an idea of what you get with this app. Now, if you want to generate more content, remember your credits are linked to your site ID, but you can click buy credits and you can get buy 100 credits for $5 or 500 credits for $20. And when you click one of these, it'll take you to Stripe and it's also passing the site ID here with it. So you could actually send this link here to a client or something if you want them to pay for better placeholder content so that you can style the rich text faster or just give them something that looks a little bit better. So no matter who you send this link to, don't worry, it's going to the correct site. And that's really it. I'm really excited to ship this app and hope that you enjoy it. Um, also a reminder that Patreon subscribers do get extra credits as well as they get extra credits in Asset Bay. So be sure to check that app out too if you want to start adding AI content to your websites and speeding up your workflow in Webflow.